Leipzig won, Manchester City won. Our first leg of our last 16 Champions League tie is out of the way and we take a draw back to the Etihad where we can hopefully put Leipzig to bed. I mean, on the grand scheme of things, is that a good result? 1-1 one, one away from home in the first leg? Yes, I would say it is a very good result. As I said in my preview on the stream the night before, I would take a draw. I would take a draw because Leipzig will absolutely feel that for them to go through... They would really, really be looking to win that game. And we're going to talk about the performance, but the overall result is fine. Is the overall performance fine? No, not really. And I think we need to talk about a few things because it's quite frustrating and it's quite worrying moving forward. Was the, Did that look like a Manchester City team that could go on and win the Champions League? No, I don't think so. I've got a few notes here taken down. I want you lot to leave your comments down below on this game. Leave a like on the video if you would. It really does help. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're about 300 away from 6K. So I'd love to hit 6K as soon as possible. Listen, that first half, the first half, I was quite satisfied with. We got our goal. Very good goal from Riyad Mahrez. Something, there's something inevitable about Riyad Mahrez in the Champions League, isn't there? When he wears those, um, the black gloves, you know, those cold winter nights in the Champions League, the knockout stages, you can be quite sure that Riyad Mahrez is going to step up and he took his goal really well. Jackie G and A, Grealish did well in his build-up to that goal as well. But it kind of after that, you know, we, we, we looked like we wanted to just see it out. We were quite happy to take the 1-0. We controlled the ball. And I was saying, right, I'm quite happy with this. As long as we don't concede, I'm happy that we dictate the flow of the game. And we look in control. We're not pushing too much for a second goal, which maybe we would on other occasions. But we don't look like conceding just yet. And then, bang, the second half starts. Leipzig come out with a completely different approach. They clearly, Marco Rose, the manager, clearly said to them, we need to score goals. We need to look at winning this game because in the Etihad, it's going to be a much tougher test. Leipzig, they upped into a new gear. They upped it into a new gear, and, and we struggled. We absolutely struggled. I mean, for their goal, it was a, I believe it was a set piece, wasn't it? A, cr a cross in. Ederson, I think we need to have a conversation about Ederson, man. He's in no man's land for that goal. I don't think it's on the same calamity level as, say, Courtois or Alisson in the night before, but is he a Champions League winning standard goalkeeper, Ederson? I think that's a conversation that... We need to open up as City fans. Is he a Champions League standard goalkeeper? A winning goalkeeper in the Champions League? I'm not so sure. I mean, if you look at the great goalkeepers over the years who won Champions Leagues, maybe they weren't so great with their feet, but they would bail the defences out. You know, when the defences make a mistake or the defences fail to defend a set piece, the keeper will be there to bail them out. How often does Ederson bail us out? He should have been able to bail us out for that goal. He should have been quick off his line, up in the air, competing with Vardiol, who jumped really high to be fair up to him. He took it well. But Ederson has to put pressure on him. He's just standing in a six-yard box, no man's land, as they say, and that's just not good enough. You know, we, we crumbled on the 70th minute when they scored their goal, and it was after wave upon wave of attack. We could You could actually telegraph it. You could see it coming. We couldn't hold on to the ball. We couldn't string more than four or five passes together without giving away possession. Every time we did have the ball, it was rinse and recycle, rinse and recycle. And we've seen this so often this season. All the ball, no creativity, no chaos, no charisma, no risk-taking. Absolutely none of that. We want to hit the wingers every single time. They want to rinse and repeat back to the fullbacks or the centre halves. There's absolutely nothing worth getting excited over. You know the way over the years people have said, boring, boring City. You score your goals, you win your games, you win the leagues. No one cares about City. They're boring to watch anyway. I always said, no, we're not boring to watch because the actual intricate play is really exciting to watch and the movement of the wingers and the strikers or the false nine has always been really exciting to watch and follow. But this City team, the way they're playing regularly enough this season it's fucking boring it's really boring football you know like i said there's nothing exciting about it nothing gets you off your seat very few balls in behind very few balls over the top i feel bad for Haaland, man i feel bad for Haaland up top he's making run after run and his body language tonight would suggest the fucker is frustrated he's really frustrated nobody wants to give him the ball nobody wants to play a ball in behind for him to run on to Anytime he gets a touch on the ball, he's, he's living off scraps. A ball breaks in the six-yard box or he runs onto something that deflects off someone else. There's no directness. There's no hunger to get it to the striker and, and let him have a clear-cut chance. He had one chance on goal on his weaker right foot. He just scuffed wide a little bit. We don't create that enough. You give him more of those chances. Give him four of them, I reckon he scores two. 
it's not good enough. We look like we have absolutely no ideas. We 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 um sometimes we look like a team of players who who haven't played together before. We don't create anywhere near enough. Essentially, if you want to win a Champions League or a Premier League for that matter, you've got to create chances. It was the the same result, but a polar opposite performance to to Nottingham Forest in the weekend. Nottingham Forest, so many chances, no clinical no clinicality tonight. No chances, no clinicality. You know, if you don't create the chances, you can't be clinical. It's it's not good enough. I mean, that's just my that's just my overall analysis on on the performance. I mean, the result it's fine. The result's absolutely fine. I'll take a one one. Leipzig is not an easy place to go. They came through a tough group with Real Madrid, Celtic, and Shakhtar. Not an easy group if you're for being real. You know, or Real Madrid, Leipzig, and Shakhtar. Real Madrid, Shakhtar, and Celtic. I should say. Um, so going to their place, it was never going to be easy. Credit to all the City fans. They, they were loud. I saw all the videos. They looked great. But I feel bad for the City fans. They didn't have much to get excited about. They really didn't. It was a frustrating performance from City. Really frustrating. Like I said, no charisma. There's no no ability to take... No enthusiasm to take risks and be more direct. I mean, Gundogan frustrated the life out of me. Every time he got the ball, he wanted to pass it back or retain the ball or shield it with his body. No just aggression to take it forward. Bernardo Silva, likewise. No substitutes. No substitutes. Substitutes is what gave Leipzig the upper hand in the second half. They brought on Nkunku. They brought on a couple of other players who added a new energy, a new lease of life into their team. Whereas we didn't do any of that. We Pep stuck with the exact same players for 90 minutes and the same players that had no ideas. So what do we expect? We should have brought on an Alvarez. We should have brought on a Phil Foden. Someone who might add a bit more directness, a bit more hunger to move forward and progress. Phil Foden is probably the one player in the squad right now who I would put money on being, you know, um, motivated to get Haaland into the game and play balls in behind for Haaland. And we saw no Phil Foden. I think we should have brought Phil Foden on into the midfield for Gundogan. That's the way I would have done it. I'd take Gundogan straight swap, put Foden into midfield because Gundogan's not been progressive enough. Rodri, a bit anonymous at times. I mean, we created two or three chances, really, didn't we? Gundogan had that chance. I think there was a headed one from Diaz early in the first half. But overall, it's not enough. It's not enough. And you'd have to fear that if we played like that, I mean, I'd like to think we'll grow into the competition a bit more. But if we played like that, say, against a Real or a Bayern or even a PSG, if they get past Bayern, they'd slaughter us. They'd slaughter us. I mean, Leipzig didn't create a huge amount of clear-cut chances. They had one or two that they should have scored other than the goal, but not many clear, clear-cut chances. And they still got a draw out of us. So imagine what, say, a, a Vinicius Jr. or a Benzema or, or a Neymar and Mbappe Messi or um, Sané and Co. or Mane at uh, Bayern Munich would do. They'll create chances and they'll fucking finish them. So it's not good enough. Am I, am I really worried? No, I'm not stressing. I'd like to think, like I said, we'll grow into the competition and, and get better as the games go on. We don't play again until the 14th of March, but based off that performance, it's not Champions League winning standard, unfortunately. I hate to burst the bubble. It's not. There's other teams playing to a much higher level than us and look more capable. Now, I will, I will, you know, the caveat to it is there was no De Bruyne, there was no Laporte, there was no John Stones. They're three top ball players and De Bruyne being the chief chance creator. So you're missing that. He probably would have added a bit more directness, at least you'd like to think. So maybe we can expect a little bit more when they're in the team again. But tonight, I'll take the draw, 100%. I'll take the 1-1 and we better go out and beat them in the Etihad, you know? And they could, they'll still fan the chances. They still won't be feeling like they're out. They'll be out to go through. But look, the performance, it's not good enough, is it? Uh, it wasn't good enough to get the win, I think. You know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get too angry about it. I'm not I'm not even angry. I'm just a bit frustrated with the overall performance. Um look it is what it is. Leave your like on the stream if you would or on the video if you would it massively help. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and do leave all your thoughts down below on everything I said because there's some serious talking points there and I wanna know am I talking nonsense or do some of you <laughs> agree with me? Let me know down below in the comments and we'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Enjoy the rest of your evening blues. <laughs>